So I was forced to learn an instrument. <laughs> and then, so that, so, that, so my, my parents, they wanted, so we were five children and uh, they wanted every children to learn an instrument. It was a bit like, so my father, father was a professor and um, had this, uh, so education had a, had a very high, um, was was very important so and, and uh, learning instrument as well was part of the to be a good citizen to learn an instrument but it was also they said because they could not learn an instrument when they were young and they wanted they wanted us to learn an instrument because it's great and that's that's good and yeah because i was the fifth one and everybody already played an instrument and i had no real connection to music and i prefer to do something that the other the, the siblings wouldn't do, I refused. I think, yeah, I think when I was nine or ten, they said, now it's time for you to choose an instrument, so choose. And I said, no, I don't choose. And they waited some weeks, and then I said, so if you don't choose until next week, we choose for you. You learn an instrument. <laughs> You're not coming around there. And then I told that a friend at my school, he said, oh, I have to learn an instrument. Well, I want to do that. And then he said, oh, come on, I've just started to learn clarinet. And it's boring. And I could ask my teacher if if you could come with me. So we then it's more fun <laughs> to the lesson. And then I went home and said, oh, I want to learn clarinet. I had no idea how this instrument looked like, not even how it sounds like. And I thought, I will do that for it short time then we say it's no fun and stop it and they said they were really surprised ah uh, how, how come you want to learn the clarinet i said yeah my friend at school he asked me blah 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 then we could ask to to uh, have uh, lessons together and that worked so we could have the lessons together and uh yeah i was lucky to get a teacher who really inspired me he was um it was just great. So he really had fun playing music. He, he could show you how much fun it is. He was very passionate. Mm -hmm. uh, so when my friend stopped playing, I, <laughs> I, I went on playing and I stayed with that teacher for eight years, I think. So, um, yeah, I don't know how, I think I could have learned more on a technical base if I, you know, if I've changed at a certain point, how you usually do, but I, but I just needed to stay there because it helped me a lot of yeah, getting into the music and it helped me a lot of getting over hard times uh, when I was 16 at this age. And um, yeah, I think that was it. And um, yeah, and for him always, it was more important to. Um, to play with love for the music and to play tunes you like and uh, play inspired than um, playing staccato on 130 <laughs> metronome. So uh, he, he looked more after that. Yeah. What kind of music did, did you play? That was a uh, classical training at first. Mm -hmm. um, but he also would bring me uh, LPs from yeah, swing and, and classical music. He introduced me to the drummer Feitman. Um, yeah, so he had a he had a wide wide range, and he and he would accept everything that I like. 